News Channel 5's John Kosick live at East Cleveland City Hall. And John, a bad boiler just part of the problem. Yeah, Chris, fixing the buildings heat can be expensive. We know that. Tough to come up with the money, especially when you owe more than a million and a half in back taxes. When Classico Realty failed to fix the heat in a building at Beverly Terrace this week, we took a closer look and found the complex to be in foreclosure since 2012. And according to the county, it was 172,000 in back taxes, 119,000 of that to cash strapped East Cleveland. It's an incredible amount of back taxes. That's money that could very simply be put towards city services, police, fire, uh, road construction, road resurfacing. And with Clasco, it's just the start. The Superior Avenue property of theirs owes 290000 to East Cleveland. This one, according to the county, owes the city 458000 and this one 262000 In fact, when we added up the total of these six Clasco properties in East Cleveland, we found the city is owed currently $1.3 million, with city schools taking the hardest hit. The majority goes for public education. So when people... Uh, skip out on their taxes, their property taxes in particular, they really hurt the school districts and our children. Using the same tax records, we looked up and went to the home of Clasco's owner tonight in search of answers, but no one came to the door. Property taxes we did find here, though, are up to date. And the mayor says that this is not the only landlord in the city in this category, which puts the city in a category where it's scrapping to get by. Live in East Cleveland, John Kosick, News Channel 5.